Yes, good morning, everyone. Tuesday, January 23rd. It's me, Alexander, again. And today we are having our meeting again. Actually, today is meeting number 30. Yeah, I mean, in this, you know, this meeting, I mean, this type of meeting, for me at least. So what are we going to do today? As always, we're going to speak in English. So without any further ado, let's go or let's jump right into it. I'm going to share the topics with you just like this. So question number one, let's talk a little bit about books. Books. Have you ever read a book that changed the way you thought? То есть, читали ли вы когда-нибудь книгу, которая поменяла, ну, изменила ваше мышление, назовем это так, то, как вы думаете, может, очень на вас просто повлияло. Ну, и что это была за книга, естественно. Number two. What is a saying that you try to live by in life? То есть, есть ли такое выражение или, может быть, какой-то даже афоризм, по которому вы живете, ну, то есть, который для вас, может быть, правилом, что ли, по жизни существует. Ну, в общем, тут можно по-разному интерпретировать этот вопрос. And number three, what makes you genuinely happy? То есть, что вас действительно делает счастливым или счастливой, да? All right. Talk about these questions, or you can always talk about anything else. You, you, you can spend your time introducing yourself to each other. You can spend your time just discussing anything else or just, you know, whatever. But yeah, here are some questions to maybe help you spend your time a little bit more productively. All right. So I'm going to drop these questions in the chat as I always do. How many people do we have? All right, nine people, I think that amounts to three groups. Yes, yeah, three groups, I think. Again? Yeah. Yes, welcome back. Oh, so many people, so many new people who uh, have joined us since we uh, actually started. All right, guys, so you know how it goes. You know the drill, and uh, I would I like... like... Oh, my gosh, I can hear myself. <laughs> uh, Yes, we had uh, some problems uh, in uh, our equipment diode with some... Nata, Natalia, maybe if you could just... Yes, thank you. Yeah, it's kind of, it's a little bit annoying to hear yourself like an echoing. Anyway, guys, so if anyone would like to speak to say what they talked about or maybe something important or interesting or exciting, please, you have an open mic, so to, so to speak. Alexander, I want uh, yes. to speak about happiness uh, because yes, it's an interesting question and uh, what makes my, me happy. I uh, thought about this and uh, then I realized that all uh, things, all people, all my uh, around makes me happy because it doesn't matter uh, where I live now, uh, but I have health, I have uh, my son, I have my family, I have my friends, I can do my hobby, I can go out, I can see what I want, uh, I can travel. So all these things makes me happy, really. Yeah. So, uh, and uh, about saying, my saying is that uh, just do, uh, if you want to be happy, just be happy. So maybe, uh, maybe that I live uh, with this saying, And so I'm happy. I'm happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't want Good. to be unhappy because I have two arms, two legs. I have my head. I have my uh, mouth. Uh, I can live in that. Uh, makes me happy. <laughs> yeah, really great. I, I think it's a, it's a great approach. It's yes, Olga. Uh, Oksana, thank you. Yes. All right. Uh, anyone else would like to chime in? No. All right, so let's move on to our next set of questions. Here we go. All right, so this one, you know, this little question, do you like tattoos? I'm not even going to ask you if you have any tattoos. Do you like tattoos? And what is your opinion on having 
them. То есть нравятся ли вам татуировки и какое ваше мнение насчет них? I have my very strong opinion. You may you probably you, you may probably guess it, but anyway. Uh, next question. If you could be famous, what would you want to be famous for? То есть, если бы вы могли быть знаменитым, ну, как бы, за что бы вы хотели быть знаменитым? Может быть, в какой области или по какой причине, может быть, так скажем. And next question. Uh, if you were able to live to the age of 90, let's say, and retain either the mind or body of a 30-year-old for the last 60 years of your life, which would you want? And, all right, and I will, uh, I will explain this one. Если бы вы uh, могли жить до 90, может быть, даже больше, и сохранить либо ну, как бы ум 30-летнего, или же тело 30-летнего, а все оставшиеся 60 лет, ну, предположим, это начинается в 30 лет, что бы вы предпочли? Uh, again, just a quick, quick question. And uh, so, uh, as always, I'm going to copy these questions in the chat right here. So that you hopefully can see them. Mm -hmm. Or 13. 13 uh, all right, that's, that makes just about. Yes. So, guys, yeah, welcome back again. Anyone would like to speak publicly? Talk to us. Yes, Dmitry, go ahead. Unmute yourself and speak to us. <laughs> about about uh, uh, just a moment. I, mm -hmm. I would like to be um, a star of. Sport, sportive star and uh, in the big tennis I like big tennis I fan of uh, Pete Sampras and <laughs> oh. would like to be man like... you're Dmitry I, I thought I was old you're old you're showing your age because <laughs> I remember Pete Sampras <laughs> no my, this you know is what I'm my, my, my dream <laughs> yeah. and I would like to to, to win um, Wimbledon or Paris Open, Australia Open. <laughs> US Open when, then. Okay, when, the, when the only one, I, the only one you missed. I I, I watched I watched the uh, match uh, Pin Sampras uh, vis a vis and uh, Kafelnikov. Uh, I was uh, I was fan of Pin Sampras and he uh, won. <laughs> I think it was like in the nineties. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 can't... I, I was I was student in this yeah. time. Mm. No, the the about question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To be famous, famous yeah. tennis star. Yeah, I think when when I was younger, I also wanted to be like you know an athlete. You know. Anyway, yeah, that was that, that was you know way way in the past. All right, Dmitry, thank you. Thank you for reminding me of my childhood, <laughs> because I do, I do remember watching Sampras, you know, Sampras, I guess. Anyway, so, I guess. I don't want to all, you know, mm -hmm. anyway. I, I remember, Anyone else? No, mm -hmm. I remember interview um, after match and uh, one girl, Russian girl, to the stadium. She said, oh, Sampras, he is, he is uh, marvelous, he is um, fantastic. And ru Russian journalists, oh, how about Kafelnikov? <laughs> but he was, he was also good. I mean, you got to give him credit. He was also good. He actually, I think he won some titles as well. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, Dmitry, thank you. Uh, anyone else would like to speak? I want to talk about tattoos. Tattoos. Tattoos, of... tattoos yes. We, mm -hmm. we, we talk about this with Dmitry. And mm -hmm. I said that... I don't like tattoos because uh, now, now, all young people make tattoos and don't and don't understand what. You know, I agree. If young people make tattoos and understand what about these tattoos, but now I think that all young people make tattoos and don't understand what about this picture on his uh, on their on their arm and the body. And so I agree. If if you young people understand for what they do it, they make it. I agree. It is okay. But now they they have they have many tattoos on body on his on their body, and don't understand. 
and they they do it because it is mod modern. Как это как называется модно? Потому что модно. You know something that you know fashionable maybe. Uh, I guess yeah. 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 For our young people, I think, and again, from this, not from from no, I again from these actions. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess. Um, well, I I've always thought uh, that if you know, because yeah, I I have a, I'm extreme extremely opposed to tattoos. And I guess if I were a parent and I need and I needed to, you know, teach my kid, like, you know, never do this, especially when you're young, because you're going to do it uh, as a young person and then you're going to wish you'd, you know, you'd never done it when you are older. So I, I, I thought what I would do probably, you know, or someone may do. So as a parent, make a removable tattoo, something really stupid, you know, maybe on your back or, you know some somewhere like big visible tattoo and show it to your kid saying you see i was 18 years old and i did this tattoo i was stupid and now i can't remove it so maybe to kind of you know impress your kid and then when they like all right yes yes lesson learned then you just go ahead and re remove it you know go go take a shower and remove it you know a removable tattoo i mean to kind of mm -hmm. kind of trick your kid maybe into thinking that hey don't do this don't do this you're gonna wish you never done it <laughs> All right. But Anyone it, else? Mm -hmm. I think that no. in change, if it is some your child, no, in a, как его, как называется, if, no, this age young, no, seventeen, eighteen, seventeen, maybe thirteen years, you cannot to, как его, to, to say, to say that is very crazy or not because i think this uh, the your child have to understand or no someone does not понять что это не надо yeah. сказать yeah most yeah. of the time words won't help yes i'm yeah. not a parent but i think i'm i think i'm, I'm right about this most of the time words just won't help your example your example will help mm -hmm. all right folks uh, next set of questions and here we go one, mm -hmm. two, three, yes. Yeah, so what about this? Question number one. What is something you wish you could forget? То есть, что, есть ли у вас что, пример такого, что бы вы хотели забыть? Какое-то событие mm -hmm. или какая-то информация? Next question. What is the oldest item you own? То есть, понятно, да? Как, какой самый, может быть, старый, может, предмет какой-то, которым вы владеете? Не знаю. Часы, телефон, не знаю, maybe some book, you know. And number three, what three things do you do with your free time? Yeah, no, it's, it's kind of sound specific, like, you know, three things. Doesn't have to be three things, but, you know, what do you do with your free time in general? То есть, что вы делаете с вашим свободным временем? Три вещи, которые вы делаете с вашим свободным временем. All right. So, uh, as always, I'm going to drop these questions in the chat, like this. And how many? 12, 10. All right. Let's probably make. All right. Welcome back again, guys. Uh, we are pretty much out of time, but we I think we still can afford to spend a couple of minutes to uh, to talk about what you have just talked about in your groups. So would anyone like to uh, to speak publicly? Maybe oh, I, on, yeah. I yeah, Yulia, go go ahead. Yes. yes. Save the day. Talk okay. to us. Uh, what I want wish you could forget. I want to forget my childhood because it's something dangerous because my dad uh, drink a lot and uh, yes, there was worse time. Um what I as all decided in my own, uh, I have all the rings from my grandmother. Old, uh, and, uh, uh, old, an old, like a ring, ring, yes. Ring, yeah, one ring. Yes. Mm. And uh, what three things do you, uh, free time, I like um, watching serials sometimes, go for a walk, and I like uh, see uh, 
go for walk in the sea. Yes, watching mm -hmm. sea. And yes, that's all. Maybe something eating. It's great mm -hmm. if you have more free time. <laughs> well, uh, Julia, I, I know where you live. Like, no, I mean, like, no, I know what country you live in. So, I mean, it's an advantage of people who live on the on the coast, which is kind of turned west. You can walk along the, uh, on, on the shore at, you know, at sundown, right? So you can, you can see, you, you, you can see the sun going down. In mm -hmm. my case, I live on the sea that, which is turned east. So I can never afford to do that. I can only go to to the sea in the morning to see the sun uh, sunrise, mm -hmm. which is kind of you know, <laughs> it's the difference between east and west, what yes. you can do, like you know. But these days I rarely go to the sea to watch sunrise. Unfortunately, I should I should fix this. We anyway, also not see the sunshine because we uh, cloudy, oh, yeah. very really yeah. cloudy weather. Winter, yeah, winter. And, uh, <laughs> dangerous. Because it's a pl plus uh, two, and like uh, snow down, and uh, it's uh, February. It's uh, um, worst time in my year. I don't know how you feel. Like Latvia, it's too worse live in yeah. this time. In my dream, to live this uh, maybe January and February another country. You know, to just go away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right, Julia, thank you. Thank, thank you, you, everyone, for uh, showing up today. As always, great, con hopefully great conversation. I enjoyed. I hope uh, you did as well. Uh, join me again next time, January 30th, Tuesday again, to have a conversation, guys. And I guess that would be it for today. Okay. Thank you. Thank and you. I'll see you next time.